Hey, Jared here from soundguitarlessons.com. This is episode one of my quick tips series where I'm doing eight quick tip lessons, short and simple lessons that could help you for years to come on the guitar. If you want to check out all the lessons in this series, there'll be a playlist in the description to go to all of them. In this first lesson, I want to talk about something that I think of as the ultimate technique test. I usually just call it the pressure test. This is something that every guitarist can benefit from. If you're working on guitar, if you're wanting to get better, uh, a big part of getting better is just improving our technique. And it's not the most exciting part. We don't talk about it as often as sometimes uh, other things, but sometimes and often what's between us and what we actually want to play is just purely technique. Can we just physically play it? And can we physically play it in a way that sounds good to us? So if technique is so important, well, one of the most important things about technique is to just lighten up the amount of pressure that we're using on the guitar. Every guitarist, every time we play, we are using more pressure, more squeeze, and squeeze is really a, not the right word. We shouldn't even be squeezing, but we're using more pressure than we actually need to make clean notes. So this is why we're going to do the pressure test. If you can work on your technique in a way that is over time lightening your touch and using less and less pressure, you will feel tangibly that you are improving at the guitar and a lot of doors will open for you, so to speak, in terms of what you're able to actually play. So here's the pressure test. Super, super simple. We're just going to take a note somewhere on the guitar, some kind of fret that you want to play. Try to choose a spot where you're not getting a really loud, obvious harmonic, though it works if you do that. You can really do it anywhere. So I'm going to do the third string and the third fret, and you're going to put your finger above where you would push down, but don't push down at all. Just mute the string and just start clicking and slowly, slowly, slowly put pressure down, depress the string. And as soon as you get a clean note, you're going to get a little bit of a buzzy note. Hang there for a second if you can. And then as soon as you get a clean note, don't push down anymore just right there. And the point of this is that we, we get to feel for this moment. Oh my gosh, that is the actual amount of pressure that is needed to get a clean note. And it's usually way less than we thought. So this is extremely beneficial to come back to again and again and again, especially when, when we're in the grind of working on something, come back and say, mm, let me try that pressure test again and go, especially wherever you're playing, just find that spot and push down. What? That is barely anything. And yet when we're practicing, we're, ah, we're trying so hard and we're feeling it in our, in our hands and in our wrists. And of course, our actual playing is much more complex than just that one note. But even when we, when we are playing single note material, improvising melodies, whatever, we're often squeezing and we're focusing and trying. So come back to the pressure test often and just remind yourself, whoa, that is such a light amount of actual pressure that is needed to get a nice clean note. And then try to work on some material, whatever you're improvising or playing around with, just even this pentatonic scale that we often play around with, and say, am I using that small, light, light, light amount of pressure? If you can work on that over time and lighten up the amount of pressure you're using in general, you will very much feel this feeling of, wow, I am getting better as a guitar player and uh, it, it's a good feeling. So come back to that regularly. And if you do want to play around with just some single note stuff and uh, have, have fun with uh, some improvising with pentatonic scales, I have a free a PDF that's the top three pentatonic scale uh, melodic patterns that just breaks up the this typical scale form that we uh, often play with into melodic patterns. So it's not just up and down. So something fun to, to play around with. If you want to use that as a resource, there's a link in the top of the description to get it, or you can go to soundguitarlessons.com slash number three patterns. And a big part of an expert player that you hear, and it sounds so slick and it sounds so smooth and it sounds so, so fluid is because they learned how to use a light amount of pressure while they're playing. So use the pressure test. That does it for this first episode of my quick tips series. I hope to come back for episode two. I'm going to talk about a tangible and measurable way that anyone can work on anything to actually get it down. And remember with all of these quick tips, the tips are quick, but our progress is going to be slow and it should be slow and we should be patient and find practicing to be nourishing and centering and uh, just show up little by little and let it add up over time. 
So hope you'll come back to the next lesson. Hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. Take care and happy practicing.